I am super excited to work with you on this website project that we have. Um, the marketing team especially, we're very enthusiastic about it. Yeah, you know, I've been talking to the rest of the development team and we're just super excited about it. So, like, we all talked together and we found this, like, really new framework called Gatsby that's going to, like, just, it's going to be so amazing. We can use React, we can use GraphQL. It's an amazing dev experience. My Mike from the dev team, he just built his blog on it last week. It looks super cool. I can even show it to you. Like, it's just, it's really cool and it's really fun to build with. And I just, we get to use Emotion and style components and, like, all our favorite CSS and JS libraries. And it's just really cool. Well, I don't really know what you're talking about, but what is it going to do for my SEO or lead conversion? Uh, or what about like my ROI? It's an e-commerce site. Uh, I'm, I'll get back to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's an example of what not to do when you're talking to, about Gatsby to your clients or your team. <laughs> So Sam and I are going to take the next few minutes to kind of talk about this topic. Um, so I introduced myself before, and Sam, I don't think you've introduced yourself. Um, I don't think I have. So I'm, uh, I'm a co-founder of Gatsby, um, the COO, uh, and um, yeah. <laughs> OK, so when you're talking to a teammate or a manager or a marketer or another stakeholder, Make sure you think about what are the outcomes that they care about. Try to put yourself in their shoes. What makes a difference for them? So I'm gonna focus on Gatsby for the marketer, and then Sam will talk about Gatsby for your teammate or a more technical person. Um, so some of the things that marketers care about, of course they care about the website. This is the face of the brand to the world. Um, many um, marketers will spend a lot of time and effort on their website and building a lot of content for their website. Some of the things they care about are SEO or search engine optimization. Um, of course, this is a way to make sure that your content is easily searchable and findable on search engines and that it'll come up in organic search results. So if you're doing SEO poorly, it makes it harder for people to find the content that you're that you're trying to deliver to them. And this is especially frustrating and challenging for a marketing team if they put a lot of effort into the content that they're writing, um, then just to have it, you know, kind of slowed down by a slow site or a poor performing site. Um, so this is one thing that if you're talking to a marketer, your stakeholder's a marketer or your client's a marketer, you want to talk about search engine optimization. As one quick example, um, as Flamingo, we heard them talk earlier this morning, uh, this was one thing that they were very much focused on and they wanted to make sure that they thought about this at the beginning of the website build, not after the fact, which makes it you know, a little bit harder at that point. The website's already built. Um, it's harder to then go back in and make it performant. So another thing marketers really care about is lead conversion. So especially if their website has any gated content and they're using it to capture leads, which a lot of companies do nowadays, is um, you know how does, are their pages optimized? Are they fast? Can people fill out the form quickly? Can they find it? Um, if the, the website is not optimized, it's harder for people to find it or harder for them um, to fill out a form if the page is loading slow. People get frustrated and they'll, they'll bounce. Um, and that, directly impacts any lead conversion rates. We did a case study with um, UFIT Health Clubs. They have gyms throughout the nation, and their website is especially important for them because that's how people find their gyms, and they were using it to for a huge lead, lead conversion and ROI for their, for their gym membership. And they had a feature where people can put in the, the zip code and find the gym closest to them. Um, the average page load time was 22 seconds before the Gatsby rebuild, so there was lots of room for improvement. Um, they were able to really get that cut down um, and improve their page load time, which immediately improved their lead conversion rate um, over 60% improvement. So just by redoing their website, um, they were able to get more leads. 
Um, another thing that a marketing team will care about, especially if they're working directly with the dev team on their website, is team productivity. So what Brian was talking about, if I'm working with an agency or a dev team that says, hey, we can um, make a better site for you in faster time because their team is more efficient, that's great. You know, that means I can launch sooner. That means I can get a better website faster. And then the last one is revenue. Uh, of course, for e-commerce sites, your website is how you generate revenue. And there's been some uh, different estimations about how page load times affects that. And one estimate is that um, for every increase in page load time, I think 100 milliseconds can translate into a 1% revenue increase. Um, I used to work for Amazon Web Services, and they have the big Prime Day every year. Last year on Prime Day, their website went down for a couple hours. So, you know, that made big news because you have AWS, one of the biggest cloud providers in the world, and they are <laughs> supporting their website on AWS, and even with all the expertise that they have, you know, sometimes things don't go well and things go down, and um, their website was down. So, um, you know, you kind of have to estimate how much impact that had. They still made uh, hundreds of millions of dollars that day, but having their website down cost them um, money for every second or every minute or every hour it was down. So I just want to end my section with this uh, quote from Zach Muha, who's Director of Digital Marketing at UFIT. After they did their website rebuild with Gatsby, the website went from a burden to a strategic tool we use to capture leads and generate ROI. So these are the types of things that can really speak to the marketing audience. So I think we have a real opportunity to move the conversation here from a developer-focused conversation to a holistic whole business conversation, whether that's into the marketer, um, to executives, engineering managers, clients, other stakeholders. Um, and I think that's really exciting. Um, uh, so recently we, um, recently we merged in a new section to the docs, uh, which I can theoretically spell correctly. I did bring it up on the um, tab. Oh, sorry about it. that. Yeah, apparently I should look at that. Um, so uh, we, we merged in a section to the docs that um, is not a, a section you typically see in documentation pages, which is how to, it, you, we, we call it using Gatsby professionally. And what this section is, is how to explain Gatsby to your colleagues, whatever their role is. It's a little bit of a sort of, how do you evangelize something within an organization, whether it's a company, whether it's an agency, whether you're working at, with clients. Um, you know, it walks through various stakeholders, so it, it links to uh, some of the excellent work that Linda's done writing blog posts um, on evangelizing to marketers. Um, it talks about um, engineering leaders, um, developers, executives, clients. Um, you'll see that, uh, let's see, um, I don't seem to have a back button here. Uh, but uh, you'll, you'll see that, um, for example, you know, with developers, and, and I don't, you know, I could talk about this for a while, you, you should sort of look over, um, look through the, look through these, um, look through these docs. Um, but uh, for developers, it's often easier because you, you can bring them into the project. You can be like, hey, look at this cool site that I'm building, like play around with it, try it yourself, build your blog, build your personal site. But as a developer, the a call to action uh, is easy. It's sort of do what I did, see, see it, feel how cool it is. Um, see what it's like working with React, all these kinds of things. Uh, for eng leaders, um, for eng leaders, the the value propositions tend to be more around like recruiting, velocity, um, being able to hire people that recruiting, like being able to hire React developers easier, um, having a unified stack instead of a bunch of different projects with different like WordPress, Shopify, Drupal backends, um, execs, uh, hosting costs and security, um, clients. Um, faster development, speed, uh, on-time projects. Um, we walk a little bit through different types of organizations inside agencies, inside companies, inside the enterprise. Um, best practices for, uh, for, for organizations. And then kind of bringing it back to like how, for a developer, like th this is a kind of key question, like how does Gatsby kind of boost your career? How can you, how can it show you as a leader and show that you're able to deliver results 
um, to other folks. Um, so take a look through these docs using Gatsby professionally on the Gatsby doc site. Okay, so now we're going to end hopefully with a good example. <laughs> so, Sam, I'm so excited to work with you on this website project. The marketing team is super stoked. Yeah, we're we're really excited, uh, Linda. Um, you know, I was I was talking to some of the other developers about some of the goals that you were talking about, like lead conversions and SEO, mm -hmm. um, and we did some research. And we found a technology we think that could really help you. Great, I'd love to hear about it. Um, so it's called Gatsby, and it, it actually makes your site load really. It makes our it'll, it'll, it'll make our site load really fast, um, without actually making our project uh, run over um, run over the de deadline, which is what happened last time when we were trying to optimize the performance. Um, and then it, it's also built. Uh, it's also built to. I won't go into all the details, but basically, it uses Google's guidelines to to improve our SEO scores as well. So, wow, it sounds like it'll help improve the SEO and my lead conversion and ROI for the e-commerce site. Uh, yeah, it will really do that. I, I, I can share more about it next week at the presentation, but we're really excited about how this is going to help our company. Cool. I'm sold. Cool. <laughs>